All right, give us a cheeky introduction. Cheeky? I'm not British. My name is Christopher. I'm Zach. And this is a uh, 1980s Volkswagen Vanagon that we are uh, going to turn into an electric car. Yes, we are. But first, we're going to move this fan today with winches and levers. <laughs> And it's gonna be painful. <laughs> That's a terrible instruction <laughs> video. <laughs> but for now, we're moving to Van again. Why are we lifting this van up again? Uh, to get it off the box that it's sitting on so it can roll on its own wheels. These Make blocks that have been there so long, they're like now grown into the dirt. On cue, Zach, this is you. We're filming now. <laughs> I think it's just filming and then you just, yeah. up in the air now. I gotta fill a hole. Now I know what you're thinking. I was not promised a hole video. But this hole, this hole is in the way. I always say never let holes get in the way. How you reckon this is supposed to work again? Slowly and arduously? Or were you looking for something more practical? So uh, it started to rain, so we put the camera away for a little while. But it's not raining now. The winch worked. Uh, we got it out of where it was. We're gonna try to push it up and back and up and back and do like a 60 point manual turn while pushing. So that's gonna be awful. But uh, that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna back it into the shop behind the van. So, all right, you're already going backwards. Okay, we're going backwards. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're a little bit into it. It's about a thousand degrees out here. We're gonna try something new. That piece of wood, we're gonna kind of shove underneath. We're gonna stick the jack on the wood and we're gonna try and rotate it like a pivot, kind of pivot. Think Ross and Friends, you know? Pivot! Only 50% of people watching will understand what you're talking about. Uh, comment below if you get the reference. You ever get that bad idea smell in your nose? A little bit like burnt electronics. That's never gonna happen. Okay. We gave up. All right, back to pushing. Jeez. Really love your pushing, don't you? No. Okay, Rob. First casualty. A little bit of a dent. No big deal. We'll fix it in post. Got it! Got it! 
Alright, we're back to the rotate thing. In case you're wondering what we didn't do, we didn't attach the winch to the to the jack and spin it that way. We didn't do that. We did a thing. Well, we're doing a thing. The thing's not done. We still have to do this much more thing. But that was the most fun. So this is where we are for context. Vance going into a uh, quite crooked shop. I think if nobody dies, it'll be a good day. shop. As you can see, it's a very little shop, but I'm very, very excited. We're going to tear out a gas motor that seized up, and exhaust, and gas tank, and everything that has to do with internal combustion. And we're going to put an electric motor in it. Uh, here we go. Let's uh, 
get the hatch open and tear some stuff up. Ta-da! That's a real good shot. Oh, there it is. The old internal combustion engine with the ratchet straps holding it together. Well, there's a fun story about those ratchet straps. Yeah, I might be involved in that story somewhere. Let's not talk about it. Von Stusten Blusten Flugen. Oh, that made me happy just to take that off. It takes more stuff off of it. There's a hose, some more hoses some more hoses there's another hose there's some hoses oh no those are wires uh but there's hoses and hoses there's a lot of hoses this does run off dinosaur well when it ran this ran off of dinosaur juice so uh antiquated antiquated is a good word especially this one from the 1980s so let's get rid of it all right what do we need to take off before we drop it everything great eddy insulation right here i believe that is a pool noodle cut in half and wrapped in foil tape that's exactly what that is yeah <laughs> Let's go to the beach. Yeah. Cool noodles and toilet tape. That's how you seal an engine compartment right there. We should make some pasta. See, that's the problem right there. That vacuum, that came undone. That's, that's the problem. End of day one. So Zach and I parted ways for a little bit. He did his own thing. I did my own thing. Um, and I think you might have saw one shot of him dropping the engine. Uh, but I'll show you where we are, show you the mess, and wrap up the day. It looks like the transmission is starting to go down and the engine out. Uh, 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 fuel line pinched off maybe there. Uh, a big old spider. Over here, an air box. We got over here AC compressor that got pulled out. That was aftermarket. That's that's not going back in. Here you get a better view of the engine, and it's just, we'll have to figure out how to get that out of there. That'll be fun. In the back we have the jack stands, and in the front we have the ramps. It gives us a little bit of height. It's gonna be like this. <coughs> Click. You don't hear anything because it's electric. <coughs> Donuts. Some punk one race. <coughs> oh, green? No big deal. Accelerate normally. See, motor doesn't make that kind of noise. <laughs> it's gonna have a hum like a Prius. Mm.